Now we're all doing around for here, Ralph Customs. Time for a quick vlog. Chris's tracker's coming along nicely. We've done the front mounts and we've put some um, inserts, nutserts, aluminium nutserts into his aluminium mudguard. So that's all mounted up nice. We're just mounting the rear now. Who her missus? I'll lift it up a little bit there, look. And I'll do a bit of that action. And um, then we're gonna make a battery tray it's going to support the end of the mug guard and hold the battery and all that chisel. We've also got some side panels he's dropped off that we're going to put a couple of mountains on for. That'll be cool. Moving onwards now, following recent feedback, people worried about me making a bearing spacer out of aluminium. Look how I'm cutting that lot with a counterweight. Nothing wrong with that. I saw a video on it. They were fixing lommies by the side of the road. Fucking mental. Um, maybe go with steel, maybe use this to do the disc spacers. Because I need to adapt the standard discs onto the Daytona wheel. Because they're not the fucking same, look. Big flat disc, tiny little mount. Big flat disc, tiny little mount. I looked at getting the uh, floating discs that fit that wheel and there's, I'm not sure it's going to mount up with the caliper, so... I'm going to use the standard discs and I can run the standard calipers in those forks and Bob's your auntie ain't it sports to tanks arrived back wheels out because of that sprocket dude I was just looking at I might make it out of steel but look fucking hell that's going to look cool when that's on there and uh, we're on with this this week going to get the back of this feather bed frame looking like this XLCR frame underneath the plastic, you can't see it. I'm going to mount that plastic, mount the tank. That's that job done, apart from the head work, which I'm not sure about. So, we're really just doing a quick one, aren't we? Just to show what's what. Okay, is that Chris's? Mug guards on, frames welded, number plates on, battery rack tray electrics. Yeah, it's made and bolted up to the mug guard to see how I get it down the bottom there. Side panels on. Front mug guard on. With some little threaded nutserts. I might have mentioned that previously. So, that's looking fucking good. In fact, that's me done now. That's going away. Uh, he did want me to look at making a seat base, but that's an add-on to the expected and I'm going to struggle for time I think might have a look at it later in the meantime we're back on my triumph making a sprocket spacer um, if you follow my exploits okay, I can't wait to get back on that I'll finish with that as well if you follow my exploits you'll uh, you'll see what I'm up to on the, the triumph build so it's going to be fight oh. right Right, oh, <clears throat> it's later in the day. Have a sneaky peek, sneaky fucking peek. No, I'm well pleased with that. It's really not my sort of thing, not the kind of work that I get regularly, but it's turned out nice. <clears throat> this is what we're having a sneaky peek at. See, knees lifting at the back once the mug guard gets here. But, oh. Okay, okay, next up. We've got our Ken's feather bed frame that's going to take a Sportster engine, believe it or not. I think every engine imaginable has been put into one of these. It's not here for that today. What it's here for is to mount this beautifully crafted really, aluminum, aluminum, aluminum tank with this strap and some brackets he's 
percent with it. I'm not quite sure how it all mackles together to be fair, so that's gonna be a fucking challenge. Um and also I gotta fit this sex LCR tailpiece. So I'll go around up with something something a bit like that. So again that's uh certainly gonna be a challenge. I think the first thing I'm going to do is clean off the shit that, that I know I don't need and is in the way. So these are going to go, these shock amounts are going to go. I've cleared that with him, he's not using those. Um, and I've got some nice rubbers to mount the tank on. And this latch device and a threaded, stainless threaded bolt with a little dome head. It goes screws through the uh, tank strap, through the front of the tank strap. My problem is I'm not sure how it all fucking fits. I don't. I think that a threaded rod should run through an hole in the frame, and there happens to be one conveniently. And that'll work really well. I've cleaned that shit off, and brackets that are under there. And then a, the clip thing fucked for now. It looks like it latches on that. Like that, and then it works like that, but it, it takes a bit of room up. Um, and I don't know how that fixes to the frame, or that fixes to the strap, or fucking quite which way around it goes. So, don't know. Waiting on a bit of feedback there. So, uh, hey, after much grinding and fettling, we've got a much smoother back end, which is always nice. Um, Feedback from uh, uh, Mr. G, who's the uh, owner. The rod does indeed go through said hole. And there's a strap. Um, the, the strap is then affixed via this riveted on the back and then a bracket for this yet to be fabricated and welded to the frame. So that's happy fucking days. I'll get on. We're on a bit of milling now as I've just profiled some brackets for the feather bed job. Okie dokie. We've uh, welded a bit of tube in. We've got this, this rod at the right angle and we've made a little bracket that drops down off the frame there. And then this, bear with, this then clips the off tank into place. Tighten it up with a bolt at the front. You can adjust that, that's midpoint, so plenty to play with there for the final mounting. Ah, nearly there with this. This is the uh, number plate and backlight mounts onto the frame rails, uh, the seat mounts. Tank mounts are done. And everything is tickety boo. I'm just gonna get this welded up, or stripped out, take a seat bit off, weld it up, put it back together, um, and then wrap up this because it's a bit of a short one this week. I've got a job in that I'm gonna video tomorrow. Part of the reason I wanted to get that XLCR frame done. And um, all I'm saying is it involves bolts clips and fucking pipe gauzes so if anyone wants to hazard a guess leave a comment below so let's have a wrap up we got this done and try and find its wheels wheels spaced correctly tank and seat marked started making the bobbins to mount that got a snidey mounting kit pivot thing there that I'll show you in the uh, video that it surrounds that in the video about that just following his build got the tracker done got the XLCR done and we've got the featherbed sportster featherbed XLCR hybrid sorted so all that it leaves is for me to thank you for watching um, so if you can guess the mystery build that I'm going to engineer tomorrow check out my friends in the description below 
Give me a like, give me a sub. See you later. Big love everyone.